Hello, and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our uh, game here with stuff and things with Great Britain and Filthy Robot. How's it going? Doing well. Okay, sweet. So, what are your thoughts? Well, uh, this is... I wanted... Oh, I did have a couple of thoughts. First of all, this is very exciting. Second of all, it's interesting to see what's going on with this, uh, watching how you choose your fights and whatnot. Uh, I wanted to ask about the mercenary pool of total available mercenaries. How do mm -hmm. we check that again? Uh, you go to your B, Macro Builder. Yep. And then while looking at land units, you can see there are 16 mercenaries available right now. And I see this where? It says mercenaries, free, free shooter infantry, 13.86, 16 available. 16 available. So we are actually running through our total available? Is this kind of. Down where we reinforce that? Because I know, I, I didn't think before, like I was looking mm -hmm. at, there was some something we were looking at in the past, and it was like the Merc limit was XYZ, and if you upped your Merc limit, I thought that was essentially pointless, because I felt like we'd never run out. Are we actually running low? Not really, because it's, it's the number of regiments you can train. <laughs> There's still no manpower pool cap ever, and, and hiring them over and over again doesn't affect anything. So, if you go to the oh, ledger... No, going to the ledger, we have 37 Mercs right now. 37 Mercenary Infantry, or Mercenary Regiments altogether. Our force limit's 96, and we can hire 13 more. So we can hire, coincidentally, 50 mercs. I'm wondering if we have a base of 40, and the idea raises us, raises us from 40 up to 50, because we had a 25% bump to our available mercs. I don't know. It's such a high number that you pretty much never have to worry about ever, ever not having enough. But yeah. I just failed at finding Scotland on the ledger. Don't worry about it. Ah, nice. We're not Scotland. Oh, right, we're Great, great Britain. That's why I couldn't fucking find them. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, what is going on? All right, cool, cool. Yeah, we were How are we doing on our current uh, distribution? Um, We have 22. We need, in theory, 27. <laughs> so we got in six theory. sitting across there. Six sitting in Kent. Just bring them across. Yeah, that'll put us up to 28. That'll be decent. For now, I'm going to go stack wipe that six, that five stack anyway. Because right now, we're doing a Cassus Belly called uh, show superiority, and anytime you have a show show superiority CB, there's a number of different ones that will have this. Battles get an inflated amount of war score. They get a whatever the war score you would normally get from the battle plus three. So if it's a real battle, a big battle, it'll get a bump in the value of it by three. So even a little tiny battle like this is going to be worth like three point four or three point three war score. Wow, not for losing battles, just for winning. Well, it's, it goes both ways. If we gain three, they lose three. Yeah, but do they get the bump when we're defending? I mean, so we ward that. They ward us with that, with um, the conquest, not the conquest, the um, coalition. coalition. Mm -hmm. So why are we getting this? And Oh, it's part of that coalition thing is the plus three to war battles? Yes, it's a show superiority cast of spelly. You'll Got notice it. when you look at the war overview, at the very top it says Papal British Punitive War started 14, 1540. So by the way, we've been doing this for five years now. Show yeah. superiority. War goals show superiority. Get bonus war score for winning battles. Over 10% of war score from battles will give you a ticking war score. Cool. Right now we have from 49 battles plus 11. So Defender has won enough battles. We are earning a ticking war score. You can see the green arrow is ticking upward now. Up. Yep. But Papal Influence right now is at 96. There's ongoing battles though. It's part of the reason why they're so high. Okay. Oh, there's your 30 stack instantly re reinforcing. They just like hide in the fog waiting on us. Oh, so we're going to, by the way... If, if what you're saying is right, we're going to be in some trouble here if we don't re No, if you reinforce, we're going to be in some trouble because our infantry are not going to deploy properly. What you actually want to do is either stack wipe this and move away or um, just run away and then get our infantry together, right? Yeah, we but, front. but we can't because we're within the first two phases. So we just have to take this fight even though we don't really want it because, yeah. Yeah, now we get wrecked with the... Okay, and, and then here's the, and again, just in case DDR Jake, if you could never find, if you couldn't figure out what I was talking about, here's a perfect example. We have 20,000 infantry. Pretty sure that means we should have 20 combat width, and yet I'm only counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17 infantry. 17 on 21. Where are the others? They're just they're just gone. I think, I honestly remember, I think you should retreat as soon as you can yep. to um, Cox and get our other infantry. Yep, and then we'll just go smash again. But see how we lost 3.3 yeah. 3 instead of just 0. 0.3 in that battle? Yep. Yeah, because the, the I wondered about that because there were really high war score values earlier. I just didn't think to ask about it. Okay, so got twenty five infantry right now, 
Mm, so we're waiting for some recovery. Yep. Uh, Forever is probably off right now. Okay. If you can turn it on right after this tick, that'd be really good. So we, you'll right. notice, you see how they're kind of kicked out of France? France, uh, well, shoot, France lost their big battle down there against the Papal State. That's really unfortunate. We kind of pushed them back a little bit. Not enough to, like, really turn it around yet, but, um, I think I had some damn good generals in there. 3 5 2. Jesus. How much debt have we had so far? Just still two. just the two loans. That's really good. Yep. Well, we could keep on smashing our face against this as long as you want. I want to keep smashing my face into it. Okay. I'd like to start smashing their faces as well, but we'll you we'll, know we'll substitute. Any any faces are good. All right. Yeah. Let's wait till they kind of get separated from each other, and then go smash part of it. We took the river crossing, which is not good, but... And we also didn't have full morale. Benjamin Button's trying to do what he can. Why, why are you putting us in a situation like that? I thought that we could... I, I thought we could fight for 12 days before the Polish should be able to retreat, because they, they started marching to Verminoi or whatever, and they were locked. We moved in behind them. And I just miscalculated how long they There's would actually be... There's fucking cannons in the front. Why do they have no units in the middle, though? Oh, no, it's just a gray... A gray enemy. It's just... It's just wrong, is why. Um, okay, I may not shoot until the 28th of September. Well, again, killed more than we lost, but we lost cannons because they deployed stupidly. We gotta, we gotta figure out, is there some way to work around this bug right now? Like, we gotta figure out how to do this. Yeah, never engage an army that's smaller than us. Just only ever engage large armies, and that way we deploy properly. <laughs> mm-hmm. It seems to be the solution to me. Does it seem right to you? Yep, it does. Doesn't seem like an ideal solution, though. Hmm. Okay, we can't afford to just be sitting around. Um, we can avoid a river crossing here. I, we, we have to wait for morale. We have to sit here and get our morale back up. How's that okay. morale uh, religious thing? If we wait... I turned it off a second. Okay. If we wait like two months, we could probably turn it on and go fight him again. Sounds good. Man. I trained a couple more mercs too, so we can reinforce infantry if we need to. If the, if the French leave this war, we're going to be in a lot of trouble because we won't be able to like surrender like we did the previous one where we give away not our land. Yep. <clears throat> yep, we are in a little bit of uh, danger. We've got to go fight and turn. Can you turn the thing on? Uh, oh. yep, let's do it. Now, go. Okay. Alright, we only have one month of fervor. Let's be aware. Mm, it's fine. It's just one battle where we hopefully can oh. smash and get the morale down. Come on, Benjamin. If, the, if you rolls. ever... If there was ever a time where you needed to roll well, it was it, it is now. Zero versus a nine. Zero versus an eleven, actually. Yeah, yeah that, is, that is really not what I was looking for there. And why in the hell is Henri in charge? A three-six. Okay, so... The French general is a 3-6, and he just took control over Benjamin. That's why we're ruling poorly. It's because it's not Benjamin. I mean, it's a great... pretty well the last few rounds, though. It's a great general, but there's, a, there's this another 25 stack coming in in, like, one day. Yeah, it's going to be too much again. I mean, he's rolling phenomenally. Yeah, he is. Lost our zeal, unfortunately. We can retreat to Holland. There's no one up there right now. And we have to. We've got cannons in the front row. We rolled okay, but yeah. we just we have to go. Yep, that really sucks. Okay, let's continue to merc up. Yeah. I don't want to. I'm not going to give up. This this is the no. war that makes or breaks the campaign, right? Just like the other one that we did. I was going to say we do that a lot. That yeah. was make or break. Yeah. Well, if we lose this war, we have to give back basically all the stuff that we won. Which yeah, and that would be a real pain in the ass. Completely offsets all the things we gained. So let's not lose this war. Yeah, if you can, rally trips to London now instead of Kent, because yep. so we're going to use do. Dogger Bank Sea Zone. Why do we not have... Ooh, minus three, that ain't good, he's took a loan. Okay. Oh well. 
I mean, when we're at peace, we're making like 20 to 40 ducats a month. I don't really even care about debt right now, honestly. All right, you want some more troops then? Not really. I mean, we actually have had more than enough infantry lately. It's just been we can't win enough to okay. to actually yeah. turn the enemy. They just have three three to one ratio, right? Just so many men. Yep. Well, that and we're not fucking deploying right still. Like it's because because they do this dogpile shit, where like you know they engage with like a ten stack and then send in three more ten stacks. It's like it's actually worse than if we were just fighting a 40 stack because our infantry don't deploy properly yeah i'm honestly looking at it and i'm thinking we're probably better off engaging the army in paris right now because we know the, the we'll large deploy stack. yeah exactly because we'll actually get our full infantry strength okay how long can we keep fervor on right now if you turn it on if i turn it on right now it's going to be real minimal because we got to give that time like to take two months I mean, you're, yeah yeah I'm, I'm just hoping that we could actually the higher your Three. max morale the more morale you recover so if you could turn it on one month ahead of the combat we could also recover more morale on that tick all right, so perhaps you want me to turn it on then uh, uh, March 1st? Probably, yeah. I okay. think so. Yeah, I'm going to just... Let's just try it. Let's just go and engage. We're going to go smash into Paris. Hopefully it doesn't fall by the time we get there. Yep. 28% chance it actually fucking might, too. God damn. All right. Okay, Fervor's on. Let's go. So we'll get one more recovery tick before we get there. And since you've raised the maximum, yeah, we should be up to 3.9. 3.9 doesn't seem very high. Well, is there some other reason why our morale has been reduced, I wonder? Uh, we have... Ah! I remember, we were Defender of the Faith, and we lost it because we surrendered to a war. We lost 5% morale of armies. That sucks. We could take out a loan and pick it up again. Get 5% more morale of armies, yearly prestige, monthly war exhaustion... Tech cost okay. goes up, but... Uh, Another loan. It's poor I, now. I would consider, if you're going to do it, you might want to take one point in admin tech first. Before. Uh, your thought process being what? Being Defender of the Faith increases the cost of taking tech by 5%. Oh, okay. So it just saves sure. you 30 admin. I mean, you're going to take the tech soon anyway. Yeah, that's fine. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's under... Trade. No, no, it's not trade. It's economy. Are you going to take a loan? No, not repay loan. No, no, no. Handout, we want another loan. Thank you. And then it's under religion for Defender of the Faith. Click Defender of the Faith. All okay. right. And again, we actually don't want to engage until at least April. So we might end up stopping in Vermandoy. Just so we can recover that extra morale. Get all the way up to the cap. Look at that. They are they are already preparing like crazy to reinforce here. Well, French just fucking engage Paris. You sure you don't, we don't want to dive into that? I think we do. So long as we can get our recovery tick, which we can. Okay, so we're the defender. They have a river crossing. There is no train penalty. Henry Andre is going to be gonna take over. Yep. Yeah, sadly. But you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of shock value. Nine to five, ten to a one. Oh Zero gosh! Two. Oh, I gotta stop rolling those. All right. He's all like, "I'm a good shock leader." And then he rolls a zero. It's still good though. And another good roll. I think this may and be another it. Another good roll. Don't call it too early. Jinx it. Just comes down to how many... Oh, shoot. There's another 20 stack of Austrians coming. How long until they get there? Seventh. We have five days to get them down to zero. One, two... Let's roll a nine. We're not going to make it. There's the Austrian <laughs> reinforcements. All right. Time to go. It's funny. I mm. almost reinforced, but I didn't. Okay, let's sort that out. Yeah, we gotta we gotta retreat. This is gonna be a huge battle. London or Kent? Five point five eight war score was just lost. So on their side, that was a huge fight. We lost uh, twenty five thousand men. They lost thirty nine thousand. It's not that good. Still, I mean, we killed a lot more than we lost, but this is a painful fight. Damn Austrians, man! All right, hold on. Let's turn off things like fervor. Okay. Suddenly we have negative 30 war score, by the way. We have negative 11 war score from battles instead of having positive 10. We, we yeah, just... we, gotta, we gotta win some fights and we gotta get France. France is gonna fall. Paris is gonna fall. 64% chance. Okay. So either we continue... to peace. <laughs> I don't want a peace. I'm annoyed with this. Either we continue to peace out, or, or sorry, we continue to hire mercs and keep smashing against them, and we could eventually probably whittle down the Papal States' enthusiasm, or we could just give away some French stuff. I hear you wanting to take uh, 
take that. But I think we're going to have more coalition wars, and I think we're going to want France with that. Yeah, France isn't going to care. Remember that that indicator saying a separate piece will reduce their trust was nonsense. It's not true. <laughs> Remember, it's going to be the first war we've, we've totally 100% lost. Well, it's the second one, technically. Yes. Okay. If that's, they, if that's uh, supposed to need to happen. We just took out extra loans to that. We bought Defender of the Faith again. We murked up some more. They this won't is... accept. Okay. Well, not a problem then. <laughs> no, there's bit. only there's only two that show. Co to England and uh, Nevers to Burgundy. That's the only that are the only two that are available that are not our lands. And if we try to offer them like gold or something, they're like, no, we don't like that. Okay. We could... Yeah. They will accept if, if we uh, they want us to annul our treaty with France. We don't want to do that. Nope. We, uh, uh, ah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's release. Let's release some French vassals. Okay. <laughs> Seems reasonable. <laughs> so you're negotiating with the uh, papal state. <laughs> oh man, that's great. Oh uh, yes, we could release Picardy. They would accept that. And we could release uh, Picardy or. Clan Ricard is that? That's us. Or Barry. Barry's right in the center of France. I'd probably, if I had to do one, I'd do Picardy. Okay. That's so funny that they'll accept that. Okay. Well, hey, if they if they're gonna cheat on the combat with deployment, then we're gonna we're gonna is surrender it worth French territory. These mercs? They're like ninety percent done. Yes, I think so. Because we don't want them. We're gonna end up just disbanding them. Half back is better than none. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't know. Ordered ten. I think we should just I think we should just take the peace because we've been at war for six years. We had your big land battle, and basically, again, long story short, this is what not to do. This if, if this was a strict tutorial series, we would never have done any of this. Filthy just made me pugnacious and forced me to do what I sometimes do on accident. But do not do not. We're gonna yourself... lose defender of the faith too, right? Yeah. So we just paid five hundred for one battle which we didn't win. God damn it. All right. Yeah, but the problem That's is so much. The problem is that if we stick in it, France is gonna peace out, and when France pieces out, then Yeah, I know we're gonna it's gonna get land. worse. Would you rather yep. be the one giving up eighty percent worse? No, 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 with no I stuff? understand I understand the rationale. I just am not not pleased with the outcome. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I just sent it, it's done. So in this war, three hundred oh my god, three hundred and four thousand Defender casualties versus 627,000 attacker casualties. Wow. That's of those, we lost 120k. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. It's a big war. Hey, and France doesn't want Calais anymore. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> that was part of a part of my goal, actually, was to see if maybe by making him lose Picardy, he'd lose interest in uh, in, in Calais. <laughs> so that we can attack England again soon and take Calais. <laughs> All right, uh, time for, let's say we have Separatists coming up. Um, yeah, of course we do. But actually, not that much, actually. Mm, English Separatists are actually, yeah. Okay, so because we lost the war, notice that we have no war exhaustion? Remember, you, yet, but okay. w when you lose wars, you lose war exhaustion relative to like the percentage of war score you, you lost. So we just surrendered like an 80% peace deal. So 80% of our war exhaustion went away. Nice. Or up to 80% of the max. It's like up to 16 in that case. Okay, so Picardy exists. They don't hate us. They have their... Yeah. They're buddies with England. Mm-hmm. England's guaranteeing them. They are Catholic. We could uh, we could try to ally them and then get a royal marriage and try to try to maybe vassalize them. Could be funny. Vassalize the former French core. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mean thing to do. We should totally do it. You want, you want to fuck over France right now? I'm liking France right now. If they're in two wars all the way through, they gave up their territory. They're still buddy buddy. Yeah, that's nice of both of our all of our vassals or all of our allies, by the way, to have given up so much land. It was. We do they appreciate took, they took them one for the team. All right. So, how do you feel maintenance is looking right now? Like, do we need to be at full maintenance? I was just I was messing through that. Uh, Dutch separatists are going up still and probably will. It's got a while yet. That okay. could be okay. I mean, if you want to suppress the Dutch Separatist okay. Rebellion, I'd be okay with that, too. We're not allied to the Emperor right now, so... Um, we could re-ally Bohemia, now that we're no longer at war, if you want to stay friends with Bohemia. I like their big blocking presence when we get coalition ward again, and I'm not done with that coalition yet. I think I will individually wish to war each of those nations until they're uh, wiped off the faith of the planet, so... Okay. By all means, about. then, uh, let's get a diplomat back. You can re-up your ally. 
We should improve relations with France. Burgundy's just declared war on, upon England's. Okay. Basically, all of Europe was on hold while we, yeah, while well, we fought they that war. Us. Yeah. I just sent the alliance. Yeah. Force of habit. Now we're making 42 ducats a month because we have no maintenance. And uh, we'll pay off our loans very, very, very quickly. Yeah. At the end of the day, we lost a lot of money. And we took out some loans, but we didn't actually pick up really anything, you know? Yeah. If anything, we kind of distracted Europe. It's kind of funny. Stop them from doing their own wars. How much are we making a month right now? 40. No, no. no, no. It's previous month badly. Let's actually look at the actual money. 38. That's not bad. All right, let's look at the coalition. See what it's looking like. Okay, 112 with Cologne. Cologne's truce comes up in May of 52. So we've got like six years reprieve here where the coalition will most likely not form. You like Sweden for a long-term alliance? Take the royal marriage? I like their troops. I'm a bit worried that they're going to be weak after this last loss. Um, I don't, don't know. know. You don't have to take it now. It doesn't hurt their opinion of us. We can always do it again later. Okay. Where is uh, Bremen? Bremen's in the, in the HRE, isn't it? I don't know what the HRE means. Holy Roman Empire. Okay. Bremen. Arrival of our arrival. We can... Ottoman's opinion of Great Britain is at least 100. Oh, we're Great Britain. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Nice. Right, right. That took me a moment to figure that out. Let's not talk about it. Uh, let's do Arrival of the Rival for... Uh... Oh, missions. Sure. Yeah, I canceled yeah. a mission, by the way, to conquer part of Denmark, because that was silly. Uh, actually, we have three rivals right now. Austria. No, that's not us. We have Did three it. rivals, though. We have Burgundy, Poland, and Spain. Yeah. Does it cost us anything to cancel a rival? No, you don't have to rival anybody. They want you to improve relations with the Ottomans. Make them like... Oh, good enough. Do that. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. That's easy, right? Yeah, it's very easy. It's free stuff. Okay, we'll come back from Bohemia, because they like us a fair bit. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to take a break here. I mean, we, we fought yep. a huge land battle. It didn't end up panning out because, uh, well, we... Well, we can blame it on bugs. Oh, my bugs God. Bugs hurt us a lot. What's that? Walter the First now has land leader shock plus one. That means we have plus three to shock. If we don't get a six shock general soon... Who's we Walter have, the First? He's a five shock general. We better get a six shock with plus three... What are you talking about? Walter the First has plus one. What is that? I don't understand what that means. I didn't read the pop Our... up out of habit. <laughs> You're not supposed to have that habit yet. No. Our ruler just picked up his third personality trait, which is bold fighter, land leader shock plus one. Huh. So now we have three. So if we three... rule with him, we no. have to convert him to a military though. No, 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 no. It's just it's like having an idea, plus one shock. Oh. Just every wow. general we roll has plus one shock now. We have three separate things that are giving us plus one shock. One is the Scottish tradition, one comes from offensive ideas, one comes from our leader. It's really annoying though we don't have army tradition 40 so we could roll generals at a reasonable rate. I agree. Well, Perhaps we should uh, wage some war and then we could uh, totally I'm in for that. Who are you thinking of warring? <laughs> Nobody. Why uh, not? Because we have truces with everyone. Ev everyone, basically. <laughs> I haven't even looked so. at the truce list. It's kind of long. Yeah, but we got to pay off like 1,400 ducats in debt. And uh, then we got to rebuild our navy because we are at 86 out of 115. Okay. We have Is it better uh, financially to pay off debt first or invest in light ships first? I would actually probably pay for ships first. But safe habit is to just pay off the debt so that you don't forget. I don't know. Your call. All right. Well, what are you deciding? It's got to be this part. We'll decide next time, of course. All right. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Thanks for watching. See you soon.